Welcome to Sun, Moon, and Stars Intuitive. I am Oracle of the Ether, and I hopped on to give you your energy reading Capricorn for the month of August. Now, keep in mind, some of these events may have already played out. For some of you, it may also happen in the future. This applies to Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, Mars, as well as Venus, Mercury, and your North Node. So grab your chart and see where this will apply to you. Crosswatcher, if you're here for Cap, okay, this may apply to you. This may also apply to a, cro um, I said that already, to a co-worker, a child, anyone in your energy field, someone thinking of you, or you're thinking of them, okay? Tarot is about energy. We have high vibe, we have low vibe, and we have those in the middle and those striving to stay in the middle. Now, with that being said, be honest with yourself. Some parts may resonate, some parts may not. Take what's for you and leave the rest. I've already called in the appropriate guidance, protection, assistance needed for me and for you. So I just ask that you keep an open mind. If you do not like the way this reading plays out for you, you have free will. You have the opportunity to change your mindset, change the way you move, and, you know, we'll see what happens. For those that are up on the higher vibration, all you have to do is just be. Just, just be. Just be. All right. Now, I've already cleansed the decks as well. I'm going to go ahead and do a mini shuffle. And we're going to get right into the reading. Ether. Oh, I'd like to say welcome back to all my subscribers. If you're hearing me or seeing and viewing me for the first time, welcome. Hit that subscription button. I would love to have you a part of the family. We are sun, moon, and stars over here. Okay. So, we're going to get into the information. Any Thing that you need um, as far as this reading goes if you would like to donate the information will be in the description box below ether show me what it is I need to see oh here we have the power the do we have 11 and 29 now you know you know, my camera is really shitty, right? And I have an iPhone, however, I have to figure out how to use it. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna just, you know, be patient, okay? Be patient, all right? This here is 1111, right? So yeah, Cap, you are definitely a divine partner or you're on a tw twin flame soulmate, divine counterpart, divine whatever, okay? Y'all are mirroring each other, okay? Here we have the power with the deer. Someone could be watching you or you're watching them. Oh, and we have the red crown crane. With loyalty, someone feels betrayed here. Someone is watching someone come into their power, okay? And I feel like you gained your power by leaving something that was not meant for you. Here we have secrets, the links. So secrets are coming out, huh? Oh, someone is in fear of those secrets coming out too with this hyena. I feel like someone, uh, you know, is looking back and saying, wow, did I do that? <laughs> yes, you did. All right, now it's gonna come out. It's gonna come out. Yes, indeedy, we have, oh, Wolverine with the fierceness. It's going to come with the fierceness, the hand of God. The hand of God is going to come down on that arch, and something is going to change here. Oh, shh. Now, if I tell you this came out in my meditation before I opened up um, this reading. <laughs> now, let me just, let me just look, look at this, right? Look, I don't know if you can see it like I can see it. But we are here. Someone is most definitely changing their view uh, on a partnership. This could be business or finances. All right. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> Someone, uh, I'm getting purposely, you know, had a hold on your heart. You may have a, um, like a, what is that? A, a contract, a soul contract with this person. Some of you are dealing with karmic soulmates and karmic you may have a karmic twin flame. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but it happens. Okay. So someone purposely set out to hurt someone, even though they seen that this was something stable, something abundant, they took the power and, you know, they did what the snake do. They wrapped their venomous, poisonous arse around your heart and just squeeze the life out. Ain't that some shit? You was in the shark tank. Okay? And what did I say? You see that purpose? They did it on purpose. And you know what? The thing about divine contracts and these uh, lower level soulmates, they gear us for the one. It's like, you know, you have they'll have such a hold on you, right? And then it's like one day you just wake up and you're like, wait a minute. You ain't even, you know, yeah. It's like you see a person for their true colors. Mm -hmm. You see that this person was, you know, possibly performing rituals. For those that are not into that, that won't be for everybody. This was something that was ritualistic, okay? It was a karmic cycle. Possibly something you brought over from a past life. And I'm getting even your partner's partner, okay? You may have even known each other in a previous life for those that believe in that. Uh-huh. Possibly a Taurus. Okay. But there was some sort of sacrifice. And this person sacrificed you or you sacrificed them. Oh, yeah. Someone took their power back. You said, oh, shit, I'm getting out of here. Let's get into this reading. Ether. Show me what it is. Oh, that was quick. Mm, so here we have swan and we have bison and ritual at the bottom of the deck and this one to come out this is release someone definitely released either they released some sort of spell they released a person and they released their views and their thoughts of beauty and what actually beauty was i feel like you um you may have felt that love was blind okay um you may be uh, a very attractive person. However, you may also be dealing with somebody that's very superficial. There was some sort of judgment made on this. You used your wisdom. You took your power back. All these fours. 11-11, okay? Here's a 20. This is judgment. You took your power back. You used all the knowledge that you gained from this cycle and from whatever other soulmate you were dealing with. You just finally woke up and said, you know what? This is just a, this is a wrap here. Okay? Yeah. You decide to take your power back and sacrifice them because there was no loyalty in this situation. This person may have been a workaholic or they see you as a workaholic and didn't have time for them. Oh, yeah. Someone is most definitely a leader in their field and possibly because they don't really focus on the, yeah matters of the heart here with songless orca. Now that could be you or someone else. You may be in a partnership that you are trying to free yourself from. Either you or, yeah, because the scales was not balanced. It was no equality and it was no reciprocity. What a way to start off the reading. But... The truth shall prevail. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm only here to warn you. All right. Ether, show me what it is I need to see. I see grand trying blessings. Oh, Aquarius. I can't wait to do the air size. <laughs> yeah. All right. Ether, show me what it is I need to seem like 11th house and friends is coming out with everybody. <sighs> All right, some of you, you may want to check the other readings to see where you fit in because most definitely the y'all, the destiny card uh, came out. Okay, so someone is most definitely trying to create something. You are trying to come back. Uh, and seek some sort of mercy. You may also be needing to connect with the Tephora 
or Archangel Raphael, as well as Chasid or Zachael. Okay, these are the angels, archangels of mercy and beauty. Okay, yeah, most definitely beauty. Someone was not connecting with their gut. They were looking on the surface, okay? They were surface dwelling in this situation and something came to an end, it ended. The world card is here. Saturn came in and said no more. You possibly spent a lot of time in this relationship, um, possibly a lot of money, okay? Um, this here is Mercury, so you could also be connecting with the Gemini or Virgo, I have that in your chart. But this is talking about perception. Okay, in this reading, someone could want to communicate with you. I, I believe they're trying to make some sort of sense out of what's happening. You can't make sense out of affairs of the heart. That is dealing with the divine universe source. Okay, you can't make sense out of that. People have been trying to do it for years and it just won't happen. However, this is a door opening for you. Okay, this is a door of balance. You're being restored. Some of you are getting your long-standing partnership, possibly with the Libra, uh, you know, Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter. Okay. Um, yeah. I feel like someone may have been experiencing the dark night. Okay. The dark night of the soul. I've been feeling that energy lately. I feel like someone had um, is realizing what that's all about and now becoming more balanced. Something is coming to completion about someone's perception of you or you of them. Yeah, you were definitely in a um, karmic situation um, here with the Grand Cross Provoker. Yeah. You tried to persevere through this. However, you know, um, I feel like the more you pushed, they pulled, or vice versa. Uh, possibly having to do with this person's finances, the things that they invest in, their values. Someone may have been provoked to stay in a relationship that was not sufficient. It's kind of like they're God, okay, if you believe in God, was testing them, okay? was testing them to see if they would choose money or choose love. And I feel like someone put themselves into a karmic situation. Yeah, with the Saturn, the truth card here. They got themselves into an unbalanced situation so they could figure out what they want. I know we, we think we know what we want when we look at people and they look perfect. However, when you get deep down into it, you know, it's got to be more than just surface here. Whew, someone wants to come back. Possibly you may have communicated with this person um, during the Mercury retrograde or they may try to communicate with you this next Mercury retrograde. I do not have the dates right now. Yeah. Okay. To possibly share some truth with you. I feel like something may have been found out during a Mercury retrograde that gave some sort of balance to you and to them. But someone definitely um, is thinking about coming back. Okay. Ether. Show me what it is I need to see. Oh, Graham Cross Provoker one. Oh, no. Part of Fortune wanted to come out. So something is increasing. Or wants to increase. Ether, show me what it is I need to see. All right. Oh, sh Black Moon liveth in the house. I just made a post about her. Check the community. Check the community board. In mythology, Black Moon Lilith was the first wife of Adam. Okay. Created as his equal. However, he was not pleased with Black, Black, Lilith, Black Moon Lilith or Black Lilith because she was uncontrollable. He wanted someone more obedient. So, Source said, give me your rib. And here Eve was created and used as the scapegoat, moving right along. You could be dealing with the Virgo. I have that in your chart. 
However, it doesn't have to be. This is talking about someone connecting within, going within. You may have been dealing with someone that was a little bit, uh, you know, a trick of a trickster. This person may have been very materialistic, only focusing on the tangible, the things that you can touch, taste, feel. Ow. <laughs> this person is very intellectual. You, like I said, you could be dealing with the Gemini. Um, Libra, I'm getting Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for some reason, but Virgo, Capricorn as well, and air signs. Yeah, that's it. This person sees you as a mystery. They may feel that you tricked them, okay? I don't know. Some of you may be into some sort of real estate as well. You may be using your knowledge that you gain to get off and go off on your own venture, start something new. You may have in the past been very vocal with this person and told this person how you feel, okay? However, I feel like you're hiding something now. You're you're not, and not, it's not like a malicious hiding. It's more like, I'm not telling you my freaking business because I don't even think you're loyal, okay? That's what it is here, okay? Someone could have been doing some subconscious work Healing those, you know, um, those things that kept us held down in our past, the things that have to do with the way we were raised, um, our children, healing things with children, healing things with your mother, your father, you know, and I, I believe that the situation turned into an unrequited love here for some of you with the seventh house of partners and relationship. Either it turned into an unrequited love on your part. Or an unrequited love with the person after they moved on with their other counterpart. The seventh house, again, this is partnerships and relationships. This is about stability here. This is about also justice. We have Chiron, the healing. This is something that has been cycled out. This person has come in and out of your life here. Okay? Um not really giving you the giving you the chance to heal it's like you kept an open wound and and i feel like this person enjoys it i do get the energy of someone being very mysterious very attractive alluring and that may have been that may have played a part i feel like someone had awakening though a spiritual awakening you see how this man got his eye like it seemed like is she poking the shit out of his eye i don't know I don't know. But something was sacrificed here with this Neptune energy. I feel like you sacrificed this person finally after the after they did sacrifice you several times again and again and again. Okay? Neptune is also the ruler of Pisces. You could be having some dreams and you know uh, of your counterpart or they have dreams of you. This is also talking about illusions delusions spirituality someone may be feeling lonely and want compassion and mercy from you however they're needing to surrender with this leo card here okay something most definitely will be transformed or was transformed possibly by this next mercury retrograde here we have aries leo or sagittarius this is just saying you're gonna have to use your strength and willpower going forward and sacrifice anything that does not bring you healing here anything that is not of your highest good with the seventh house the seventh house of partners you may want to check your chart for Saturn placements, if it is in 6th house and 7th house, that means you cannot be dealing with low vibing people at all. Sagittarius, yep, I see, I see. Someone may have sacrificed this person. Once they sacrificed you, they could have, you know, got what they wanted. Most definitely they got what they wanted, okay? But see, Lilith is a quick thinker. OK, and she takes things into perspective. Very smart, very intelligent, does not want to be tied down and back. She wants equality. OK. I feel like someone may have took you for granted or you took this person for granted. Child wounded one to come out. And I have already shuffled, I shuffled, 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 shuffled these decks. 
okay? Either show me what it is I need to see for cat. Oh, you've been liberated. And now you are healing, okay? You could be a healer as well. That could be your calling. You may need to use all your wisdom and knowledge that you gain from these cycles. Okay, analyze it and put it to use and make it work for you. At the bottom of the deck, we have King, the King of Pentacles. This is my King of Pentacles card. This is a royalty card, might I add. This is someone that is connected to Source. Okay? Um, you may be going through a spiritual awakening, you, a first eye, third eye awakening as well. Most definitely, this is male energy. You could be a father. You could be a priest of some sort. You may be analyzing um, your spiritual your spiritual values at this time. Oh, sh someone could feel like um, uh, there's a masculine energy. Could feel like if you're a feminine or whatever, whatever it is you like, could feel like you stole their heart or someone stole you from them or vice versa. Someone is, is seen as a good Samaritan. I feel like you do a lot for people. Okay, yeah, very beautiful person, very attractive and magnetic. They may view you as that or you view this person as that. They want to take a chance with this gambler card here. Ether, show me what it is I need to sue. That's quick. Thank you. Oh, Messiah. Messiah. Oh, we got some ascended masters. We got some, oh, beggar one to stick out. I feel like someone wants to beg you back. It's not funny, right? But I mean, what do you think gonna happen? Like, what you think gonna happen? It's written. This is the scribe, baby. This is written. This is written in the scars. This is why Black Moon Lilith is here. She's like, look, <laughs> you already know. You already know. Oh, you already know. Like, and look what's up under there. Companion. This is divinely orchestrated. Do you get it? Do you see what I see? This person went through a situation where they had to be liberated. They had to have an ego death. Okay? So the Messiah Universal Life Force Source came in and just whoop how that is. They gave Source gave them what they wanted. This person was very much egotistical. They may have manifested you as source for you. And you know, you popped up like ching. This is someone that's a good manifester. They manifest everything they want. But see, karma, you can't just be, oh, you know, just manifesting people, manifesting people. Oh, I don't want them. Let me throw them away. Nah, it don't work like that. Black Moon Lilith, somebody came, somebody stepped into their power here. Okay? Whether if it's masculine energy or fem feminine energy, someone stepped in their power most definitely, and it was divinely orchestrated with the scribe here. You could be an author, a songwriter, a book writer, a researcher. You could have a job where you have to uh, be analytical and study. You, you know, you may be good with math. You may be a profound, what is Spirit is saying, prophetic. You like, I don't know, it's like poetry. When you speak, you know, or this person speaks, they kind of like melt people's heart here. And that's, I kind of think, oh shit, yeah, but the bully sticking out in the slave. I, I, I believe this person got used to that. <sighs> yeah, see, poet, ah, trickster, a slave, and a bully. Yeah, this person tricked you. Oh my gosh. I heard another reader say, tricked you out of your panties. I'd be. I'd be that's that's this this that's I, I'm just I'm just telling you okay so somebody so, okay all right we're gonna go ahead mm -hmm. so someone messed up a connection oh but let me tell you this it was divinely orchestrated and don't you go back no 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 because that's the test that's why Saturn is here okay Saturn is like, what you gonna do? Now that they learn their lesson, what you gonna do? You gonna go back into the cycle? Are you going to be prepared for what I'm preparing you for, Ether? Show me ooh, what it is I need to see. Oh, new beginnings. 
after a drastic drastic ending we have the first house and the first house is asking who are you what is your desires and you need to take action towards that as um, as it as if your life depended on it okay you have to get control of your thoughts your body your secretions right now this person may not be doing so well financially and they have to depend on others. But see, that's what happens when you have this mask on. You could possibly be dealing with the Aries or a Scorpio, but it doesn't have to be. It's just saying it, it sh should have changed it. Okay? With the sixth house, something is being affected. Now, this person could, finances could be affected. They may be losing work. They may be having um, trouble getting to work. Um, I feel like someone may have made some bad invest. <laughs> someone may have made some bad investments. Mm-hmm. Most definitely, this person was money hungry and they didn't take the time. Okay. Now I don't know if this is you, Cappy, but you didn't take the time to invest in anything outside of material, and that that may be the upgrade. That may be what you are finding out you may be finding out that it's written for you and a certain person to be together all right some of you could have capricorn in the sixth house as well all right uh, that's yeah shit. all right that's that's actually pretty good though but you yeah. know here we have in the third house someone wants to communicate or they want to share something with you. You might have to travel to see this person or they may have to travel to see you. Um, however, something is happening with this in this person's environment. We already discussed that. With the three of pentacles, this is saying something is happening with this person's mental. It's uh, possibly with siblings, maybe with their children, with their brothers. They may be also experiencing some issues with their neighbors. Okay? Yeah, in the ninth house, and most definitely, this is spiritual upgrades here. This is also Sagittarian energy. So, this is about higher education, traveling, and philosophy. So, again, I do feel like some of you are writers or should be, okay? Right now, you are getting upgrades, spiritual upgrades, and it's going to be long-standing, some of you may even be dealing with someone, another Capricorn as well, okay? Yeah, or Leo. But something is most definitely going to come out. Something is going to come out. And you are going to, or something has already came out. And you're going to have to have the confidence to move forward and take a chance on whatever idea, whatever partnership um, that's granted to you of a higher vibration with the North Node. Spirit saying, have faith and don't worry. Is uh, it, it says now is the time, but I'm getting it's a matter of time, okay? Ether, show me what it is I need to see. Mm. Liberation, justice, oh shit. Okay, so there's going to be a new beginning, okay? After someone goes through all their mental hoopla, all right, they may have in the past been, you know, um, Manipulative, that's the word I'm looking for. With this Virgo energy, this person could also be in e, e commerce. I'm getting they may have a hard time changing and adapting. Okay, so this is why this person is very analytical and in their head. Okay, however, justice is on the table, whether if it's forced or not. All right. Someone wants to make a decision or needs to, a fair decision. Now, you could be waiting from a decision from the courthouse. Yeah. And yeah, ta-da! We have 11th house. Someone wants to get the fuck out of here. With the 11th house, this is the social life. This is your friends, your goals, and the things that make you happy. There's going to be something found out about someone's social life. You may get a message about it. Someone may have had the wrong idea because I'm I'm getting no anybody they get the wrong idea about me. 
All right? That's what I'm getting. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a tower moment. You could possibly be dealing with an Aquarius, but it doesn't have to be. It's going to be something unpredictable, possibly a message. Okay? It's going to be something. Um, someone may be planning a trip to see you, or you are planning a trip to see them. All right. Oh. Ether, show me what it is I need to see. So here we have more Virgo energy. Someone is definitely dealing with a Virgo. Okay, this person, for some of you, is manipulative. This is a Virgo in their lower vibration. What they do is they, even if it's not a Virgo, this could be someone taking on Virgo energy. Okay, and trying to manip manipulate a situation. They're heavily in their their mind. I feel like this person may even be losing a home or losing things very quickly with this moon card here. They could be hiding that from you. However, uh, someone's need to use their intuition about someone, possibly a child's mother. Okay, even your children. There may even be some unrequited love coming from a Virgo towards you or vice versa. Piscean energy. Pisces. <laughs> What's going on with Pisces? Pisces. Okay, you're here. I feel like you are creating something with this Piscean energy. Um, you could be a composer of music. I do feel like someone did try you. Okay, they thought you was gullible, maybe really sensitive. I don't know. But this person could have been hiding things from you and as well as playing victim. They may have, may have also had some, um, what is that called? Like um, psychosis, things that, you know, like bipolarism or something like that. Okay, um, this person may have a hard time communicating. It could possibly be a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. Okay, it's, it's because something is not uh, revealed to them or revealed to you. They may come at you as if, um, you know, they were a victim. They may feel that you are gullible, okay? They may also think you're hiding something. This person is watching you or you watching them. Why is Virgo here? Ether, show me what it is I need to see. Huh, Libra and Virgo again. Okay. So someone is watching you trying to figure out how to bring balance to the situation. Tell me more about Scribe, Ether. Huh, Uranus wanted to come out. Scribe. Ether, show me what it is I need to see. Oh, they want to flip around. They all want to come out. Ooh. I'm getting a little antsy too. Like, oh my goodness, someone does not want this to come out. Okay, uh, Pluto, it's a doorway. Someone is leaving. That's the justice. Someone is leaving a current situation. Maybe you left a situation. Someone that was very obsessive. Okay, like I said, 22. You could be dealing with the karmic, karmic, karmic relationships or lower vibe, lower vibe, vibing relations. Relationships are soul contracts that you gain before you come into this world. You, there's something that needs to be completed with this karmic soulmate. Okay, so something that must definitely be transformed here. Someone needs to heal something. There may be some power struggles here, some compulsive behavior. A lot of things is hidden from you, or you are or you're hiding things from them. They may um, feel like you're being distanced distant or you may live a distance from this person some of you may write this person i'm getting if you're dealing with someone that is in jail okay for some of you there's going to be some justice uh with someone that's coming out from prison i'm getting some of you are going to get a new start from someone being released from prison this person may be going over um, letters that you wrote for others is text messages this person is going over um, and trying to figure out how they're going to offer you a new beginning or even if a new beginning is possible this person could also be even looking at tarot as well okay
there was a power struggle here. That's why this person is kind of embarrassed. Saturn came in and showed this person the error of their ways. <clears throat> With Saturn here, um, you know, like I said, it hasn't came out, but I do feel it. It is a karmic imbalance for for some of you, um, especially if you're your twin flame. This is something that's been carried on from a from for lifetimes and i do feel like this is the last this is the last of it so if you're not in a partnership with this person this go around the karmic contract is cut it's cut you're walking into a new doorway possibly with the lion's gate coming up okay this person very was very compulsive okay uh why is the first house here either show me what it is i need to, damn uh, you're gonna have to, yeah some of you are going to have a new beginning possibly with the leo or a aries but it doesn't have to be um however it, something could come out about a leo or an aries as well okay even a Sagittarius, someone wants to be single, they're holding their willpower. I feel like if they're in a relationship, they're not communicating that with the partner at the bottom. Yeah, stubborn, possibly with the Taurus. Um, I, I, there's a lot of finances mixed up in this situation. All right. Someone is stubborn to a new beginning. Someone doesn't want to let whew, you go. Okay. Or someone doesn't want to let your divine counterpart I'm, I'm go I'm getting okay so it's a lot of different energies but we have Aquarius Capricorn Aries and Taurus 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 what this is what how I'm seeing this is this going to be a tower moment surrounded someone's finances it's going to be a new beginning okay and possibly because someone was stubborn now it depends on what side of karma you are you are on especially with this Uranus card here that uh, yeah uranus and venus is going to most definitely be um the karma is going to show in someone's finances as well as their partnerships so it's going to be either your partnership is going to be you're going to be at war with this karmic person um the karmic person that they chose or you're going to see an advancement in your finances some of you have been having dreams about this person or they've been having dreams about you. I feel like you kind of like just said, forget it. I'm, I'm done. Some of you just is done. I do get that. All right. Let's clarify Libra, Pluto and Sun. Someone got rejected. Someone felt like they was just there, um, someone's servant here. You may have, you may be taken care of. Some of you are in a relationship with older people. Why is Libra here? Ether. Reverse. Expansion reverse. Someone didn't want to bring balance to a situation. However, some of you, that block is lifted. Okay. The... Um, <sighs> For some of you, the block is lifted and this person is going to come back, but it's a facade. Yeah, this is a lower level soulmate. Some of you are wishing for a transformation, um, however, but it's destiny. Some of you had spell work done on this partnership and that was a part of destiny as well. Why is expansion here? It's, uh, I'm getting trapped. Um, yeah, people were... were getting trapped it's, it's about free will but i mean it's, it's about intentions as, as well yeah growth okay so someone knows that to you know obviously to get the situation going back they have to grow they're probably trying to figure out what to say or what they need to do i feel like this person has possibly let go of the person that was blocking um you and them from being together with this rejection card here yeah this person is despondent they like they feel like they have no hope they're also being watched by their partner <laughs> they want to release they you know they want to let it go they want to cry they want to you know they want to moan and everything possibly because you rejected them 
Um, for some of you, you cried and you moaned about this person to the point where Universal Life Force Source was like, hey, we got to, you know, get something new going. You need to lift up your uh, self-worth here. Stop being complacent. Stop focusing on the lower chakras here. Yeah. Now someone feels guilty. I feel like you're dealing with someone that has a karmic that makes them feel guilty and that keeps them there. Why is Pluto here? Ether, show me what it is. Oh, mysticism wanted to come out. So someone is definitely <laughs> writing some spells around this thing. Huh? All right. So, yeah, someone is playing victim. So, you know, someone used... This is green. This is the heart chakra energy. Someone was playing on someone's heartstrings here. Okay? All right. There was compulsive distant at times you know when they felt like this person was moving away they pull them back use magic you know um you know to try to block this person you know a lot of sexual um enticing you know this could be you or the person you're watching for they had an appearance of being perfect this person you know was a perfectionist all right, had a little bit of narcissism going on up in there. But this person played victim. They knew how to bait your person or you knew how to bait them. Tell me more about this victim card here. <laughs> they, they like, sure. <laughs> All right, this person plays victim because they're insecure. They play victim. They don't really know how to love. They're guarded. Fear. They have a fear of abandonment, fear of being hurt. So they don't quite... This person doesn't end a relationship completely before they move on, period. They don't. This person feels like they're dissipating because they don't have your energy anymore. Yeah, yeah. If they don't have your goodwill or you don't have theirs, tell me more about wisdom. Ether, show me what it is I need to see. So someone was talking, talking loud, saying nothing, talking with their friends. You was probably, if you're a guy, this you want to get away from this person because you feel you feel their insecurities. You feel this person plays victim. They gossip too much. They talk about you to the friends. Talk about your relationship. You're just tired of it. Okay. You may see this person as very beautiful and passionate. You may have even at one time been mesmerized by this person, but. Um, it caused you to have some impartiality with your twin and the soulmate. You didn't know who to choose. It was a veil over your eyes because you yourself was in your lower chakras. You wasn't connecting with your higher self. So, yeah, there was a renewal here. A renewal here in a partnership. You had a chance to go back with someone, but you didn't chose it. You didn't choose it. Okay? You didn't choose it. All right? Um, you may even, depending on who this is, someone may even have been gossiped about around in their neighborhood, okay? Like if you have mutual friends or something like that, it was a lot of gossip going on. Someone used their wisdom in this situation and decided to, to, to move away. You were dealing with someone that, that didn't have gratitude, they didn't appreciate the things that they have. They were needy, wanting more, um, working very hard. You you possibly could have been working very, very hard to please this person. However, it just wasn't happening. This person wasn't happening. It, 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 they wasn't accepting it, okay, because there was a rejection. You outgrew this person's energy, and this is something that was destined destined this person was sent here to help you lift your self-worth and i know you're probably saying i feel good about myself that's not what i mean what i mean is if you were codependent on someone because of their looks or their finances there's something lacking inside of you okay period why is sun here clarify sun Ooh, quest Wanted to come out. Ether, show me what it is. I need to see. <laughs> so there's going to be a balance brought to some sort of passion, 
someone probably possibly doing a, um, a come to me spell, a glamour spell, whatever spell they want to use. I don't know. Uh, something's going to be found out about it. It's going to be exposed. Okay. You may be in court with this person right now. Someone could have even got married under a spell like, yeah, it was a veil over someone's eyes. Um, that's not going to be for all of you, but most definitely something is going to be found out. Um, and you, it's going to require you to move forward. There's going to be a new beginning, a new, be, new beginning, a new beginning, something that's very pa uh, passionate. However, for some of you, this might be in, um, employment. You might have to take a pay cut. OK, you might be trying to figure out if you want to take it or not. Some of you are, gr are grieving a loss of a marriage or um, a person, even an animal. I'm getting some of you may have lost an animal. My condolences to you. Yeah. I feel like, you know, you're where you need to be. The situation is where it needs to be. All right. Let me get one of these cards. Either show me what it is I need to see. Remember to breathe. Remember it's a team effort. Don't do all the work. I don't, don't, I don't care how fine you think somebody is. It's not like that. Okay. And remember to be generous. Okay. It depend on who watching. You can't just be an energy vampire and sucking up all everybody energy just because you think you the shit. Okay. Now this could be you or the person. And be grateful. Have a heart of gratitude. Have a heart filled of gratitude. Be grateful for your family, um, your children, and your ancestors. Some of you need to connect with the divine. All right, cat. I hope you enjoyed your reading, and I'll see y'all later.